In today's video, I'll be revealing the process that I use to write informative and engaging Amazon product review articles using Claude AI. So let's go ahead and get started. As always, I'll leave all of the prompts that I use in today's video in the description below. So the first thing that you need to do is prime the AI. I've told the AI that we're going to be writing an engaging and informative Amazon product roundup article where we will compare three or four products, their pros and cons, and give recommendations and reviews so customers can make informed decisions. And then what I did was I went over to Google and I searched up how to write Amazon product roundup articles. And I went ahead and copied some of the most important recommendations that I found on Google and things that you need to include in your Amazon comparison article to be able to write an engaging informative article that will rank on Google. So essentially I took all of these tips and again, I primed the AI. I told it also when writing our reviews, keep these tips in mind. And I pasted in um, those tips into Claude AI. So essentially, I'm telling it to do things like include a brand guide, include a pro and cons table, and all of the other recommendations that I found from Google. So I did this two times. So this is the first time. And as you can see here, Claude will then summarize that information. And if you're not using Claude, what you can do is you can then take this information and use that into your prompt for ChatGPT. And again, I'll make this into a document. So if you want to use this on Cloud, you can use this. But if not, you can use this um, this specific prompt on ChatGPT as well. So it's telling us to write a clickbait headline, include a comparison table, optimize for SEO, include a buyer's guide, and wrap up with a summary and a call to action. Keep reviews objective, honest, and focused on being helpful for the reader in making a buying decision. So again, I did this once more with some other information that I got from a second website, which gives you um, tips on how to write a great product roundup in five steps. And again, if I scroll down, it will then go ahead and summarize that information. So be transparent about your testing, address common questions or objections that readers may have about the product products, provide alternatives for different budgets and needs and so on. So again, what we're doing here is priming the AI so it knows exactly what it needs to do to create the best Amazon product roundup article that it can. So once we've primed the AI and we've told it how we want it to write, now what I've told it to do is create an outline for the article in which we're writing. So I told it to use the recommendations above. First, we'll write an in-depth, comprehensive and informative Amazon product roundup outline for the blog post, which is the best wireless mics for gamers. So then it went ahead and created an outline for us. It has a hook, then it establishes expertise and a thesis. Then we have the comparison table, which talks about the product name, image, price, mic type, and so on. Then we have an individual reviews of each um, specific brand. So we have mic one, mic two, mic three. Then we have the buyer's guide, which will talk about the key features to look for, popular brand amounts gamers, type of mics and their uses, price ranges, how to position mic for optimal sound, why you need a wireless mic for live streaming and terminology, and then we have a conclusion. Overall, this is a pretty decent output and a pretty decent outline. If you wanted to, you can expand any of the sections so you can tell it to write about more mics, you can tell it to write or include more information in the buyer's guide, or um, include more information in your comparison table. So you have the flexibility to do so when using Claude um, to expand any sections of that article. But I was pretty happy with this outline. So what I did was I told it to write the full Amazon blog post roundup. Remember to follow the instructions above and be in depth and informative. Write each section individually, starting with the intro and always write in markdown. Again, what I'm telling it to do is write each section um, individually because I find that you're able to get more in-depth information. So best wireless mics for gamers of 2023. So here's the intro that we got back about the best wireless mics for gamers in 2023. And what I really like about this article is that it actually speaks from the first person perspective. And that's really important when you're writing reviews because people want to listen to reviews from people that have actually used that product. So as a hardcore gamer and streamer myself, I've tested countless wireless mics to find the best options for fellow players. In this roundup, I'll compare the top wireless mics and help you choose the right one for your streaming setup and budget. So again, we can see there that it's talking from a first person perspective, which will give some more authority to your blog post. After extensively testing while streaming games like Fortnite, Valorant and Apex Legends, I've narrowed it down to the three best wireless mics for live streaming. So again, it's talking about different games that are very popular, and this may be very relatable to your readers. So, so we see here by priming the AI, 
by having good prompts, it allows the output to be a lot better. So for instance, let's say I didn't prime the AI or prompt it well, and I just told it to write a Amazon product comparison article for the best wireless mics for gamers in 2023. This is the article in which I would get back. As you can see here, it's a lot shorter. Um, it's not very well formatted. And the intro is a lot different compared to what we got back when we primed the AI. The intro that we got back without doing any priming, as you can see, it's very short. It's kind of right to the point. It doesn't really address the readers. It's not very um, enticing and it's not relatable. While the intro that we got from the original article, as you can see, it's a lot, lot better. It is much more relatable. It sets up the article much better compared to the article when we didn't do any priming or prompting. So you see, there is a big difference in the output quality because the quality of your inputs really, really determines the quality of the outputs that you get back when using Claude or any AI writer. So this is the intro, best wireless mics for gamers of 2023. And below that, we get a nice product roundup. So we see a couple of different products here. We see some images. I don't think these images would work. We see the pricing. We see the type of mic, the wireless range, the battery life, noise cancellation, and the rating out of five. So this is the overview of the mic comparison with the three products. And if you scroll down, you'll be able to see a detailed um, outline of that specific product. So we see the Shure MV7. We get an intro to this um, to this product. We see the pros, we see the cons, who it's ideal for. And then we see a testimony of actually using the Shure MV7. And then you also have a link to Amazon. Let's go ahead and see if that link works. So it doesn't work, but you can always go ahead and replace that link with your own Amazon affiliate link. But as you can see here, um, it's really, really well done because it's speaking from the first person perspective and actually first hand experience using that mic, which can be very helpful to readers. If we scroll down, we'll see the other mic that I talked about. Again, it's gonna follow the same format, who it's ideal for, the pros, the cons, and um, a testimony of using that product. Then we have the third product, again, pros and cons, a testimony of using that product. And below that, we have what to look for when buying a wireless gaming mic. So this is going to be more like your buying guide. So the things that you look for, sound quality, noise cancellation, battery life, design, and so on. And next it talks about finding the best wireless mic for your live streams. So if you are a live streamer, then this would be something that would be applicable to you. And then the article is concluded. So overall, this article is about 1900 words, almost a 2000 word article. And as you can see, when we convert it to HTML, we can see the charts, we can see the bullet um, words, we can see the list, we can see um, how well formatted this article is. So if you are writing Amazon product reviews, this is the process in which I would follow. You can use this same process in ChatGPT and you should be able to get um, similar outputs. But I really like Claude because you're able to put a lot of information and feed a lot of information into Claude because the context window is a lot higher. You have 100,000 tokens for your context window. So it allows you to be able to prime the AI. But again, if you're using GPT 3.5 16K, then you'll be able to do the same. Um, you can prime the AI, you can input um, sort of criteria that it needs to follow when creating Amazon blog posts, and it will be able to follow those criteria and create you an engaging and SEO optimized Amazon blog posts. And just before we conclude today's video, just wanted to let you know that this is 71% original and 29% detected as AI, so pretty good. 70% um, is a very, very high original score when using AI in terms of plagiarism, 0%. And for readability, we're at 60, which is also pretty good. So not only are you able to create engaging SEO optimized blog posts, um, you're also able to create original and less likely to be detected by AI when you're using Claude. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope that you learned something new. Again, I'll leave all of the prompts in the description below today's video. And I hope that you can use this information to create better Amazon product roundup articles. If you enjoyed today's video, give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.